Hey friends, how's it going? So, it's Saturday. Um, this is the first day since the accident that I have felt like, yeah, I can totally go in there and get some things done. So, I'm gonna try and do that. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm only gonna do as much as I can do, and if it starts hurting or things start feeling stiff or whatever, I'm just gonna stop. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna do the best I can, though, because I have, I think, 50-something day. What did I... I posted it this morning, and I've already forgotten. Um, hi. 52 days to cost in college, so that means I have 52 days <laughs> to get the special dress done, so that should be doable. Okay, uh, mail. I got mail, so let's talk about mail first. I got a Noelle as a Human Billboard t-shirt, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's a little YouTube logo and my channel name. I saw people in LA wearing these and I thought they were hysterical, so I got one. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this. Maybe I'll wear it at costume college. We'll see. <clears throat> um, Penny River Costumes had these hats that make lovely 18th century hats. So I got one in each size. Penny River Costumes is awesome. Is that what it's called? Penny River Costumes? I think so. Um, I will link her down below if I can remember to do that. She has an Etsy shop and she sells all sorts of awesome 18th century stuff. And then lastly, I got me some Dunmores. Wouldn't these look lovely with my new dress? They're a little bit matchy matchy, actually, but um, I still love them and I'm, I'm gonna give them- I have to wear shoes that look like this vaguely anyway, so I might as well wear ones that are super cute. Ugh, okay, let's go talk to Keanu. Hi Keanu! Do you wanna come in? Do you wanna just sit at the door? No? Yes? Okay, he's in. Okay, now he'll walk around the room once and then go meow at the door to leave. Okay, so then I also got these buckles to go ahead and clip the Dunmores together. I'm scared of doing this because that hole that these make with this sharp thing right here is very permanent, so if you mess that up, that's in there for life. Sigh. <laughs> I don't like in there for life things. Anyway, I'm gonna go cut some strips and uh, see how we go with this. Oh. I do have one thing to show you. Be right back. Okay, people in the comments have seemed very concerned about me leaving these edges unfinished. Um, I did this with Iron Man too, um, and it actually worked out just fine. So I looked at some period examples, and a lot of them do actually leave them unfinished, and they're just frayed. Um, so what ends up happening is that they will it will fray, like you can see it kind of fraying right here, like just a little bit. It will fray out. And then at some point it'll just get long enough that it just stops fraying. I don't know, it's kind of like pinking shears and do that thing that lets them fray a little bit, but not too much. Um, but these pleats add act as like the pinks because it can't really get too much farther than some of these pleats. You know, it can pull out somewhat. Um, but what I do just for sanity's sake, <laughs> I guess, is I actually like fray check the, all of the like edges, especially on this top. And on the bottom, I fray check a little dot on the edge right here that's the inside of the pleat. So like the pleat tucks in a little bit, like right there. So I put a little dot of fray check right there. You can't see it from the outside anyway, but I just put it where you can't see it anyway just to make sure. Um, in case your fabric's like extra shiny, it will make a little dot there. Um, but it doesn't do it to this fabric at all. And that just keeps all the fraying literally in check. Aptly named product. I know that's not historically accurate, and everyone can just suck it. <laughs> I'm like, a, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Um, also, uh, I, you know, it's not like I'm wearing this every day. It's not like I'm wearing this out in the busy streets of London, you know, for, you know, a year of my life. I'm, I'm gonna wear this like five times probably. <laughs> so it'll be okay, guys. Um, yeah, Iron Man, I didn't even fray check. Like, it was fine. It never came out. I mean, it frayed out a little bit, but it was fine. Um, so I did all that, and then I just trimmed off any of the stuff that was fraying here, because it was a little bit messy. Um, and then here's one that's, like, coming out right there. But it'll stop as soon as it hits the fray check, which just, it makes it fine. Um, yeah, so that's how I handle this problem. People ask me why I didn't, like, zigzag this, and if you zigzag it, you will absolutely see a line right there. Like, you can kind of see the shadow through it, because I have it, like, you know up, um, you can, you would see a line, like, indented in there. Trust me, I've done this fabric 
fabric ironing test and I iron the crap out of this to make the pleats stay perma perfectly and permanently. So you would definitely see it. You can even see the line just where the pleats touch themselves and lay over themselves. Like that's ironed in. So if you had zigzag on that, that wouldn't work out. So I just don't do it. And we all deal with free check. So lots of you guys have been asking me about my other channel because I mentioned it in my costume college video that I put up from 2015. Um, yeah, it's called What's Up Noel, and it's a makeup and skincare channel. I don't post to it very often anymore, although I might film for it soon and just put some stuff up that I because I have opinions about stuff. It's like reviews and hauls and random thoughts. I don't do like makeup tutorials or anything like that. So um, that's what's on there. Uh, it's not that interesting. <laughs> um, I actually like this channel so so much better because I have better interaction with you guys and I have um, a lot more affinity for this part of it. Um, I really enjoy makeup and I collect it and I really enjoy skincare and I collect it. Um, I collect it and use it but it's not the same kind of community. I don't know how to put that. There's a lot of makeup vloggers first of all and I don't know. It's a different, it's a different kind of people. I don't know. Anyway, I'm having a good time over here, so I've been spending almost all my time over here, so there's not a ton of new stuff over there, but feel free to go check it out and um, see what you like over there. Oh yeah, for people who are wondering how I'm cutting these strips, um, I've gotten a couple questions. Um, I don't have a ruler that's three inches wide, I have a ruler that is two inches wide, which is annoying. Which is how I got a stripe down one of these, because I did an inch and a half and then an inch and a half, and that's dumb, because you can't get that stripe really out well. Anyway, I have this cutting mat, as you can see back there, and it's gigantic, so I just lay it on top and I can kind of see through this material, so this is the three inch line right here. Um, so I just hold my ruler along that, and then I use my uh, chalk marker in yellow to draw a line. And then I use this thing to pick up all the extra chalk, <laughs> and then I cut the strip so that they're all three inches wide. That's how I'm doing that. Okay, so I've got two of these strips uh, done, and I got another one loaded up. So far, I don't hurt. Um, for those of you who don't know, I got in an accident last week. That's in last week's vlog. There's a picture and stuff. Um, so this is my first day back sewing after that. Um, anyway, I don't hurt yet, so that's good. Um, so I'm gonna keep, if I make four of these, then I can do a bunch of hand sewing onto this. Um, monstrosity so um uh, basically i need three batches of four right so i did one batch ready and then another one will do one side and another the last one will do the other side so that's exciting so i'm halfway there um and i'm gonna try to knock out this last one um <laughs> people are very concerned also about my pleater board problems yep i can't use it it doesn't work i tried a million times and like it's almost like I spent enough time messing with the pleater board that I could have made four of these. Let's put it that way. So I like it really just takes me like 20 minutes to pleat one of these up. And I think even if I had a pleater board that worked, I might cut that time like down by five minutes, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, I did find and order a pleater foot for my sewing machine and I'll play with that once I get it. Um, it pleats and ruffles. So excited about that. Someone sent me a video about it and I was like, woo. Um, I kind of like that these aren't perfect. They look handmade, so there is something to be said about that. But I do have a lot more pleats to make, and I have other dresses that still need to be trimmed, and I'm planning on pleating the crap out of those. So there's going to be a lot of pleats in my life, so I bought this foot. Thank you to whoever recommended that. Good idea. Okay, I got this whole side done and on. There's a couple inches at the very bottom that, um or like I'm missing like two inches of stuff. I think at the end I'm gonna have to make another one of these strips and then piece in all the little gaps that are, are around out and about. But you can kind of see what this looks like now. Um, these, according to the picture, because this side over here will get gathered up so much that these will separate more. So you'll see what this is a little bit better. But anyway, I like it, I'm into it. Um, now I have to start over and cut four more and do the same thing on the other side, so. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I hadn't really considered how this closure is gonna work because there's now gonna be 
two layers of stuff just hanging out right here. Unclear. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> this is what this insanity looks like. It takes me about 15, maybe a little bit, maybe up to 20 depending on how slow I'm going, but usually about 15 minutes to do one of these strips. Um, takes me another like 10 to prepare the strip and like fold the edge under and iron it and cut it and do all that stuff. So these are taking about 25 minutes. Um, not super bad. Um, so I do this and then I come get this pressing cloth and I spritz it with this, which is one part vine white vinegar and um, nine parts water. Usually I'm holding that up in the air. I'm doing all this one handed. I'm so amazing. Except I'm not because I'm going to have to put this down. So then I put a pressing cloth over it, which I spritz down with one part vinegar, nine parts water, and I press. And that sets that pleat for life. You can unset the pleats for life with just more vinegar and water. So if you ever need to set pleats and you don't know this trick already, that is the magic trick. And I just go over this a couple times until there's no more, until like the towel is dry. Um, and then maybe back over this again one more time because it's not dry. And then I let it cool and it's like key to let it cool with the pins in it and it down. Um, Cause if you let it go and then it'll lock in at whatever relaxed state it's at and you don't want that. Okay, I got three of those things done and I need to do one more, I actually need to do two more. So there's two cut here. Um, so I can fill in all the spots that are like this much that's missing. So, um, I'm going to finish this up tomorrow. It was pretty late. We went and saw Godzilla, whatever the new Godzilla movies, King of the Monsters. Just no, 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 no. It's bad. It's really bad. It's horrible. <laughs> I like the last one. Was it Godzilla 2000 or just Godzilla? I don't know what it was called. Anyway, um, I actually really liked that one. I thought it was really good. So, anyway, um, I got more done today than I thought I was going to. If I can get these guys pleated tomorrow and sewn on, then I can finish making this darn thing this week. So, I'm pretty excited about getting that done. Because I want to get under that bodice, because I have, like, stupid days, like, 53 days left. Which is enough, for sure, to get this done. But, like, I have other things to do and trim and whatever, too. So, uh, I don't just want to get this done before costume college. Like, I want to get... I would love to get ready for this trip before costume college if possible. Like that's sort of the goal. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> we'll see. Um, anyway, I did get a lot done and I got surprisingly more than I thought I would be getting done because I thought I would be in pain from the accident, but um, the muscle relaxers help a lot. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, I have some like chiropractic-y kind of pain still that I think I have to go see a chiropractor or something for and possibly I got a massage yesterday and that was really helpful to making things better and I think I need to keep that up because um, I think stuff will start climbing back in but I didn't think I was gonna get to pleat at all and I pleated a lot today so woo woo me hey guys it's Sunday so I went to see Hamilton today and it was awesome. This was my third time getting to see it and I have another set of tickets to take my mom and my friend Sarah and her sister at the end of this month. So I am spoiled rotten with Hamilton, but man do I love it. Um, so just a brief update today, not much to report. I'm finishing up the last of these right now. I have four of them already linked together over here. And I'm just doing the last one because there's going to be a little bit of like piecing in of little chunks of this stuff that I need to do. And then I'm going to go in another room and watch the Game of Thrones documentary, maybe. And um, park that onto here. And we will have a fully trimmed piece and I can get back to the actual creation of this overskirt. 
um, which would make me super, super happy because all I want to do is finish this. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go ahead and crank on that and get that done today and then work this week on finishing that sucker so that uh, I can move on to the bodice. I will do the same treatment. I don't know if I already said this. The same treatment, but backwards on the skirt. Um, so the skirt is this brown color. So I will make a bias tape that is this color. And then I will make um, a ple pleated under pleat <laughs> that is in the brown to go with that. So hopefully that's going to be awesome and they will look good together. So I'm just going to carry on and get that cranked out. Probably nothing that interesting for you guys to see, but if I think of anything awesome to tell you, I will let you know. Update. I got it all on. Um, I do have to do a little patchwork on a couple of spots that were needed, you know, a little extra. So I have just a few inches that I need to sew down here and then one other spot and it'll be all good. And then I need to give this a good pressing, but I'm going to do that tomorrow because it's really late and you know how it is. But oh my gosh, woo woo, the pleating is all done for this overskirt. <laughs> the skirt still needs pleating. Um, and we have to move on to the bodice next. So that's going to be its own saga. But I'm also getting a little more stiff and sore. So I am listening to all of you who have so wonderfully given me your kind words and love about my auto accident. Um, and the second I feel uncomfortable in any way, I stop. So I have stopped. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this tomorrow. Um, and we'll continue on from there. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. Whew. So yesterday I came back and I did all the extra little mending and like putting in the extra edges work. So this is fully pleated essentially now. Um, I'm going to run it through an iron real quick to just iron everything super good and flat and whatever. Um, and then the next instruction is to gather the pleats or gather in pleats up the side. So it looks like this. Okay, so let's talk about that. Because the thing they want me to gather up the side seam <laughs> into six inches or less is this epic thing. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, cool. Do those pleats go up or down? Pick one. No instructions. Okay, cool. I guess I got to figure that out. So <laughs> I'm going to iron this out and then I'm going to try and figure that out. Um, I think this is the last time it's ever going to be able to be properly ironed. It'll probably have to be steamed from now on. I mean, it's so long it checks on the floor right now. So that will pull up the sides and give it a nice drape. And then there's a little bit of bustling that goes on in the back. Biggity bam, you're done. You have to like, they say to put a big old like sash essentially, cut three inch ribbon into half, one and a half yard lengths and tie each length into a bow. I don't have three inch wide ribbon, so I have to figure out something else to do here. So I'll figure that out. Unclear what that's gonna be, but we will explore this option shortly. I keep trying to get an angle that's gonna let you see the whole thing. Um, so the bustling that's done here is just me pinning it up so that it's off the floor basically. Um, I did each one of these pleating sessions like 400 billion times. Okay. Actually I did them like four times. <laughs> I pleated it all going down instead of going up. The pleats going down and I was like no nah, they, they should go up. Uh, and I pleated them with two big of pleats, and I pleated them with two small of pleats, and it was nightmarish. And I did it on both sides <laughs> while we were watching Chernobyl. Uh, we finished off that series, it was good. Um, but anyway, that got done and sewn in. Uh, and the ironing got done, so that's great. Um, this bustle situation still needs to happen, and I'm going to do that tomorrow, I would guess. I It's really late, so I'm going to call it and still be able to get this thing done by the end of this vlog. So I'm pretty pumped on how this is looking right now. Um, nice and foofy and with some, you know, pretty ridiculous trim, but not anything that isn't late 1880s. 
the 1870s lover in me just wants to put 400 million trims and foofy, foofy foofs on it and, you know, make it bedazzled. But I'm going to restrain myself because <laughs> we are doing 1880s. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it looks good. The front looks good. Um, so yeah, I ironed it all down and all of these pleats were perfectly perfect. And then it went in the bed with me while I sewed and it's all back to crazy pants. So maybe right before I wear it, I'll iron all the pleats perfectly flat. So they look really good. But until then, it's probably stupid to keep ironing it. Anyway, um, I will continue on with this endeavor tomorrow and hopefully get that done and get all the tapes um, completed. What is going on with this side? What is this business? Oh, just needs to be pulled down. Okay. I'm like, why does that look bizarre? Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, the lobster tail is underneath this. This is not this foofy on its own. The, I put the bustle underneath it so that I could see what it would look like with that. Um, and once I put the tapes on it and get it ready to go, I'll put the skirt underneath it so you can see what it's like against its own background. Okay. See you tomorrow. Here, against this awfully tormented waistband, I am showing you my fatal flaw with this thing that I am telling you so that you be like you and not like Noel. All of these pleats go in the same direction. And that's actually really dumb. Uh, so they all should have gone out or in depending on whichever, but this one should have gone in and this one should have gone in. So, or out, doesn't matter. Um, but that is not what happened because I wasn't thinking and I just pleated the whole thing. So, and the pleats because it's sort of like half and a half and a half and a half, but then the sewing are super weird in here. I am not pulling this waistband off. <laughs> this is feature complete, so that's how it is gonna be, and that's fine, because it'll be under a bodice and no one will see that, but I will know. This um, waistband is horribly tortured, but actually it irons out really well. Um, I did pleat this separate foam all by itself before I put it on the waistband, and that was a much better idea. It's easier to pleat it to the waistband, but it makes the waistband look like poops when you sew it because it'll, all the pins you'd have to put in there, like sort of make this wrinkliness to it that it does, is not flattering. That happened with the skirt too. I kind of like this little waterfall effect that happens here and I'm sad that I, they're like, yeah, cover that up. But I'm like, but that's so cute. So, oh well, maybe I'll get something really thin to go over it. We will see. I don't even know what I'm put there. And I'm not going to worry about it. Like, I'm going to bustle this thing and get the... Um, like, structure together. And if I'm missing a ribbon or a closure or whatever, that's okay. I'm going to move on to the bodice. I have this, like, list of nitpick that I have to do. Like, I, this thing needs a closure or that thing needs something stitched on or something like that. So I'll just do all that at the end. But anyway, it's looking good. Hey, guys. It's Wednesday. Um, I'm in the home stretch. Um, updates, personally, went to the doctor today because I'm feeling a little like foggy headed and my focus is really low um, and my sense of taste is different. So um, we think I have a mild concussion. <laughs> awesome. So um, I asked about sewing and the doctor was like, yeah, this is fine. Um, screens are bad apparently. But doing work like this is not bad, so woo-woo. Not a problem for me to sew, but uh-oh, concussion. I did get a CT scan and everything came back normal, so no brain bruising or inflammation or any of that stuff. So, but that explains why I have been lack of focusing this week. So, given that information, <laughs> I'm confused about these instructions that I have. They say, Cut one tape to the width of the bustle and sew tape ends to the inside of back a few inches below side seams. One tape to the width of the bustle and sew tape ends to the inside of the back a few inches below the side seams. Okay, so let me show you what I think that means <laughs> or what I'm gonna do. Okay, so 
this is the side seam and it ends here and then this is just extra so when they say below a few inches below the side seam i think they mean start it like on the inside but like down here and i think i should measure from here across to here and make a tape that is as wide as that is and sew it to there and that way i can poof over that tape and then stitch down to it there's another tape that comes from the center back here and meets up with some destination point that is inside of here. I did mark it in here, but I'm gonna look on the pattern too and see how far down it is um, to bring this back up. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know if it's right or not. If you guys have ever made this pattern below before, let me know. But I don't know what Sew tape ends to the inside of back, like where in the back, doesn't say like on the side at all or anything like that, a few inches below the side seams. I'm like, but how do you go below side seams? And I think it's because there's that extra fabric there. Anyway, I'm not positive, so that particular direction is very confusing to me and like I said, a little foggy, but this is what I'm doing and I think it will work, so... That's what's happening. Do you guys get confused about patterns? Like, sometimes I see the instructions and I'm just like, wait, what? Like, I know instructions are hard to write down, but like, this is where a drawing would have been useful. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna give this a go. And really, I just have to put these two tapes in and then artfully bustle this thing and sew them to the tapes. And then all is well here and we're done. Oh, I do need to do a ribbon with bows on the sides. That looks like, oh, here's a better picture these. Um, I'm almost wondering if I'm going to do like a cockade here with little ribbons that go down. Um, as Watson is a military officer, um, I thought a cockade might be nice. Um, but I don't know how that would look here. So I don't know if I want a giant cockade. Maybe I will just do a brown ribbon. Put it here. Um, I'll just take some fabric and make a tube that's three inches wide basically. I guess that's how I'll do that since I don't have any like random brown ribbon laying around. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so she's pretty much done. I do need to get a little something something to cover those side seams, but that is what the bustle looks like. And I'm fairly happy with it. Um, the front is not what I thought it was going to be, for sure. It's like weirdly poofy and stuff, but I think once it gets on the body over a skirt, it'll look pretty good. And um, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me turn it the other way so we get the other side view. Yep, that's a good one. So I'm feeling pretty happy with this. Um, that white thing is the lobster tail that's underneath it. Yeah, so I'm feeling excited about this, and I am going to call this particular item done. Um, I do need a closure on it, and I need to get a ribbon on it, but as far as I'm concerned for the build, it's done. And I could totally wear it just like this, <laughs> so um, I'm feeling like, oh, I should show you the back view. This is the back view. And with that, I am going to call this vlog good. I have a theater performance, a musical of We Will Rock You tomorrow night. I'm not sure totally if I'm going to go. It depends on how I feel. If I feel super spacey, I won't go. And if I feel good, I will go. Um, and that was what the doctor told me to do. She's like, listen to your body and just do what it says. And I'm like, okay, I will do that. Um, yeah, so uh, leave me messages down below and let me know what you guys are working on, how your projects are going. I hope they're all going really well. Everybody seemed to be very productive last week. Um, and what you're listening to, and what you're reading, and what you're watching. I watched Chernobyl, like I said, and I've been finishing up Gentleman Jack. That is so good. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been watching. Let me know what you guys are into right now, and I hope you guys are having a great week, and I will see you guys next week with the start of the bodice. Dun dun dun! That's the part I've been like, <sighs> dreading. So, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, see you guys next week.